Hey, my name is Satar Rogers. In this video, I interview close friends about their relationships and the takeaways from them. Thank you all for watching. What's the nicest thing a man or woman has ever done for you without expecting or wanting anything in return? Um, hmm. The nicest thing that a woman has done for me. That done for me? Oh, mmm, mmm, mmm. The nicest thing a woman has done for me. The nicest thing a man has ever done for me was. Without expecting anything. Uh, college. Sophomore year, I was living on my own. You know, going through college, you got no times up here where you don't have any money, you can't really afford nothing. Um, I had a friend I had made the previous year, and she basically made me food for that entire week. I got ill one time, and the young lady came by and took care of me, and I really appreciated her showing very good concern about me during that period of time. I would probably say cook. A woman like genuinely taking her time to get up and cook me a meal. I think she just did it kind of genuinely from her heart. Me and this guy were only dating at the time for a month. He actually bought me um, a Michael Kors um, engraved purse and he's uh, stated to me that I don't want anything in return. You know, if we end up not working or whatever the case is, I won't hold it over your head or against you. But, you know, that was one of the nicest things a guy has ever done for me in a short amount of time. When you get to a point where you think people are not thinking about you, she was coming through for taking care of me and wasn't looking for anything in return. No companionship, and that was a very nice thing for her to do that. He took me on a trip, um, to a beach trip for like a week. Um, all expense paid with, you know, asking or wanting nothing in return. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> What's the nicest thing you have done for a man or woman without expecting anything? It's a difficult question. <laughs> it's not just one thing. Everything. <laughs> Everything I do. Because I'm a very giving person. So whatever that person needs, if I care for you enough, I don't have a problem, you know, giving or offering it to you with nothing in return. So I've dated someone who ran, I don't know, he ran like a little hard on his luck and I let him borrow my car for a substantial period of time, <laughs> some months or so. I mean, he put gas in it. I didn't ask him to do that though, but he did it anyway, of course, so. Because uh, I'm somewhat of a minimalist, so like, when I do something, I kind of, like I ain't really expecting stuff. I don't, I'm not too good at receiving gifts and stuff like that. So I kind of like do stuff from the kindness of my heart. Uh, just, to just to see the satisfaction in somebody else actually. On Valentine's Day, I knew somebody who didn't have a Valentine's Day. I bought her some cheesecake, some grapes, a balloon and a bear and just say happy Valentine's Day just to make her day. Okay, I got it. I had just went in the military, had just finished uh, basic training. And I was on my way back to my new duty station at Fort Bragg. And just to, uh, we were getting on the bus, the bus was packed. And a lady was sitting down, wasn't sitting down, all the seats were taken. And I gave her my seat. And that was a trip with that took almost 40, 48 to almost 72 hours. I stood up the whole time until I think to, we got to Virginia. and. Uh, that was, yeah, that was it right there. What's the best inexpensive date you've ever been on? Uh, okay, that's an easy one, okay. Oh, um. I've never been on an inexpensive date. I'm a very chill person, so to me a date is like, um, you know, at home watching a movie, you know, ordering food, just enjoying each other's company. So that to me is the best inexpensive date I've ever had. Going to the park. I probably go into the park, the river walk, hanging around, picnic, definitely a picnic. So I went on like a picnic date once and this guy I was dating, he had like the little blanket and he like fried some sausages and <laughs> had some water bottles <laughs> and we sat by the lake and ate. And I think that was like the nicest and definitely most inexpensive uh, date I've been on. That's, um, when I got married, my first wife, I was boxing then, and I used to train a lot. And I wasn't spending as much time with her, and she, she told me, she said, come get it. It was, um, it was her birthday, and I thought she wanted me to do something real spectacular. 
only thing she wanted me to do was play basketball with her. And that was it. And that's what I did. We played basketball that day. How does a man or woman know that you really like them? What do you do differently when you date them? Hmm. What I do differently if I was really into him. Mm -hmm. What I do differently? The way that someone knows that I'm into them, if I give them all of my time, um, in effort. It's really not any actions I would do differently. I would just go like super above and beyond on the actions I already kind of, because I, the type of person I am, I give people my time and effort and affection. So if I really, really like you, I just, it's like, like beyond 10. <laughs> it's like really over the top, I would say. When I'm willing to spend my time, um, I'm actually, I am kind of selfish. So when I'm willing to spend time, uh, put energy and effort into talking to you because I really don't care to text or call. Um, that's how you know I'm interested in you. I'm going to spend more time because I will, I will, I will, will make that time. That time is going to be where I'm going to say, hey, what you want, let's go do you. And then my, all my focus is because I'm so focus oriented, she's going to get so much focus on her, she's going to be like, oh, that, yeah, that's it, let's go. I'm not, I'm a, I'm, I turn my phones off. I don't use, I won't get on Facebook. I'm not gonna do Instagram. I'm not gonna do, she's gonna get all my time. Really just spending time with her. I know women require time uh, and being affectionate uh, and feeding her. <laughs> women like to eat, so make sure she fed. <laughs> you know, I would say as far as right now, the past two years, if I'm dating someone, if I, you know, introduce you to my, my child, um, then that means I definitely see it going somewhere. You know, if it don't, so be it. But, you know, I would say that if I introduce you to my child or my family or anything as far as that, it's people I care about, I'm definitely into you and see it going further. What signs do you look for to know that a man or woman is really into you? I would pay attention to her willingness, uh, her, I guess that would go, a line, go along with her submissiveness. Uh, so I pay attention to how willing she is. I pay attention to her affection and uh, honestly, her sexual attraction to me. I think what I look for is her willingness to listen and allow me to lead. Even when I'm wrong, you know, help me out, but just like you're willing to allow me to lead. I'm not perfect, but, um, and her willingness to do things. Um, if I need to be more um, in detail, I like acts of service. Like, I like for you to make my life a little easier because I know for sure I'm definitely gonna make your life easier. So, I like little things like that and being able to listen and understand. I know a guy's into me if they give me quality time because that's a big issue that guys have. You know, they only really give a, a woman their time if they are really into you. If he just spends like a lot of time, make me a priority. Is there anything you wish you could express to the men or women you are or have been close to? <laughs> I'm really caring. When people see me or whatever the case is, they automatically, you know, judge me. But you have to get to know me to know, you know, I have a soft side as far as, you know, dating. Yeah, definitely. I would want for want for her to know that I like my me time. I think that's something that a lot of guys don't express or we can't express or we have to filter it in a certain way. I'm a little insecure about certain things or whatever. I have certain past situations and sometimes they manifest themselves into relationships and it seems as if maybe I'm trying to pull back or you know push them away but it could just be certain insecurities that I haven't possibly dealt with from the past. A lot goes on in my mind like I'm always constantly thinking. I'm always constantly moving so I'm always trying to plan ahead or think ahead about something that might make you happy. I like to like make things smooth, so I try and think about things to make things a little smoother. So I'm very caring and thoughtful when I try and do things. I think with most men in general, 
we're going to be a little private. We're, we're brought up there. We got two different cultures, and I would like to be private. Some things are like, you know what I'm saying, we, we, we're going to hold that. And I would like to stay private like that, because somebody said, well, if I'm hurting, some things you just have to go cry by yourself. And I want to do that in private, because, you know what I'm saying, even though we both to show our strength, I would like that to be private. I do cry, but I want to do it in my privacy or by myself. So uh, I would definitely say give me just my me time. Uh, it ain't really got to be nothing like too serious. Or if I have a day to myself, if I hang out with the guys, even if I'm playing a video game or something like that, something uninterrupted where we can kind of like, well, I can kind of recoup and think about things because most of the time being in a relationship is like, or, or dating is more so the man worrying about, or not worrying, but concerning himself with making sure the woman is, you know, satisfied with affection and getting her time, all that stuff fulfilled. What have you learned from the men and women you've dated in the past? I learned that women are insatiable. <laughs> women are selfish. You can never like fully satisfy them or 100% make them happy. They are very insatiable. Like you, you can never, just when you get to 99%, it is something to happen. They drop you back down to 75%. They don't take accountability. <laughs> women do not take accountability. Even if they do, it's still kind of, I was wrong, but the reason I was wrong because you did this and it always lead back to the guy. So I think, uh, yeah, that's it. And they always hungry. That's for the main part, they always hungry. A lot of women that I've had dealings with, they listen to respond. They don't listen to understand. So when you tell them something, they go on the defensive. Instead of like really trying to sit back and listen to understanding what I'm trying to say. Don't just respond and don't throw blame my way. I hate that, John. It's annoying. If they give you their time, their intimacy, and you kind of cut, cut them the wrong way, they're very, very vindictive. But that's a good thing. You got to let them, if they don't do anything to you or don't say nothing to you, they're not studying you. If they're not trying to get back at you, you did not hurt them. If they let you walk away, you, you, you ain't, oh, please, I went into you anyway. I think that men are, men want to fix things. They're fixers. If you correctly or maybe like properly structure what it is that you want from them, they'll do it. Say you having like a terrible day at work and you just like, oh yeah, they all get on my nerve and da da da, -da all this other stuff. And, um, he, what I've found is men who really care about you and like you, they're going to be like, well, we need to do this, that, and the third. They're going to come up with a game plan for you. And you might be like, I don't need a game plan. I need to vent. <laughs> I just want to tell you about how crappy my day was today. So I've learned in my experience that sometimes it's not men trying to control the situation or tell you what to do. It's just they're like natural fixers. They want to make things right for the woman they care about. These are men who care about you. That's what I'm speaking about, those type of men.